Right, here we are at Destin RV Park in Destin, Florida. Took about an hour and a half to get here from Pensacola. Lovely RV park, very well maintained, 36 spaces. Um, the parking's a little bit tight but it is well maintained and it's right on top of the beaches and food restaurants. I'm just going to take you a quick walk around the campsite. As you can see there's only a few places left so it's quite handy that we got a place here, really. A lot of nice RVs. It's in the shape of like a uh, horseshoe. So let's just take you around. There's a swim pool on site. There's also washrooms and shower for male and female. So if you didn't want to use your RV, you've got the facilities here as well. Just walking over towards the office. It's where you check in. very hot today, it's got to be in the 90s, easy. Started off this morning a bit overcast, but it's brightened up now. Just take you around the, around the site. There's a swimming pool over there, to your right hand side. Also, with this resort, you got your own beach as well. Um, you also get discounts for loungers and stuff on the beach if if you wanted to, or you can also take your own stuff down there. Um, but yeah, it's a lovely park. And this is Destin, Florida. When I went to Pentacola yesterday, um, which we didn't think we was going to get in, but we we did. Um, went out for a nice meal for Gary's birthday, um, and obviously set off this morning about half past eight this morning to get here. And like I say, it's only it's about an hour and a half drive from Pentacola, Pensacola. And as for cooking, I'm on vacation. There's no way you're getting me over the cooker. This is the entrance that we're walking into now. This is where you all come in. Also, what I like about this park is you've got security, so after a certain time you, the gates automatically lock and you have to key enter a code so you know your RV's locked away safe and there's no risk of any uh, burglaries or anything like that which is always a good thing the internet connection as well is really good do you want Wi-Fi um, and this is the main strip of the road you come out of here and you chuck a left or a right and it takes you all along the beach with all the shopping malls and stuff um, but yeah it seems to be a really nice really nice place to stay it seems to be the right place to stay as well looking at the amount of people that are actually at this site we're gonna get our bathing stuff on um, and hit the beach and have a look at some sites on our little moped which has done really well I must say We've done 246 miles on it since we've been here. It's about half past 11 today. 
for now. Um, it's a good result for the kids as well, obviously, because you've got your, your swimming pool so you can keep them occupied. You've also just across the road you're on the beach. Um, there's lots of restaurants along along the beachfront. Lots of really nice RVs here as well. Lots of nice. They've tucked us round the back <laughs> by the entrance. Uh, sorry, the exit. Also got. Turning around the site. Destin was another place that we didn't think we was going to get in. Um, so it's it's actually really good that we have got it in because it is a lovely place. And we've heard lots of good reports about Destin. Um, the beaches apparently are really, really nice. Um, really nice white sand and crystal blue waters so I'm, I'm glad that we've actually got on this site really um, and managed to get ourselves into Destin because we were just going to bypass it and go to Pamana City, Pam, Pamani City Panama Panama so it's still early. <laughs> um, and Gary's just getting the bike ready for us to go out and hit the beach. Um, so I will check in later. Um, see you guys later. See you later. Bye.